All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, as always, we're giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Kodash. All right. Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father, whom the world we know is God and Jehovah, Yahweh Shai. All right, it's the true name of His only begotten Son. Okay, our Lord and Savior and our King, whom the world we know is Jesus Christ, by Shema Kakodash is in the name of the Holy Spirit. It's the inspiration given to us to edify those that has been given, that have been given the ears to hear. Okay, so we're honest to our teachers, the apostles, and elders, the great millstone, and men who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect brethren, faithfully and diligently preaching his word with fear and trembling. Shalom warm to the believers that subscribe and listen. All right, the men, women, and children. Through the spirit and power of your heart, by Shimmy Howard Shai. Through the GMS Mrs. Camp coming with you with another Sunday live lesson. Uh, through the spirit and power of your heart, by Shimmy Howard Shai. All right, we say, Call Allah and Allah, Yahweh, by Shimmy Howard Shai. All right, I'll pray to you, by Shimmy Howard Shai, you know, for giving us this truth and being able to continually endure the afflictions, trials, and tribulations that come with this faith, you know. And every day is a, it's a test, all right, and it's a precious gift to be able up every day and still have the means of receiving salvation all right this is the uh the purest gift the most precious gift that anyone can have is this wisdom knowledge and understanding okay but it takes a lot of work okay it takes a lot of work to maintain it all right it takes a lot of labor all right uh, to sustain in this truth you know, it's a constant thing. And uh, you see the title, No Rest for the Wicked and Other Topics, all right? Ultimately, the wicked being Esau Edom, the god of this world, so-called self-proclaimed white man, beginning with the elites, all right? Uh, the Rothschilds, all right? The banking family, the banking families, those that control, all right, <clears throat> all the resources. And they have obtained their riches through what? Rape, robbery, murder, lies, and deceit. And therefore, uh, they have no rest. Mm -hmm. They have no rest because it takes more energy to keep a lie going than it does to uphold the truth and stand for the truth and tell the truth, man. All right? But we're going to get into it. Lord, will you be edified? Go ahead, Doc. This is <clears throat> this is Isaiah sixty-two and seven. It says, "And and give him no rest, <clears throat> and give him Slop, no rest." Give me uh, thirty-six, Baba uh, This is uh, Isaiah sixty-two and verse six. It says, "I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never." Never hold their peace day nor night. Right. Day nor night. The watchmen of Israel, the true men of the Lord, as the Lord say, uh, watch, therefore, and pray and occupy until he comes. That's the labor that I was speaking of in the introduction. All right. They are not going to hold their peace day or night because there's constant wicked wickedness and iniquity multiplying in the earth at an exponential rate that has to be continually addressed. Uh, uh, it has to continually uh, be addressed and our people have to continually be warned all right, of the danger of all of this wickedness increasing in the earth all right? that's our duty, that's our obligation to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's the role of a watchman all right? go ahead it says ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silent ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh keep not silence all right. In essence, this is a commandment, as the Lord spoke by the prophet Isaiah. All right, <laughs> that applies to the spirit that Isaiah had, right, which was the spirit of a prophet. And the job of a prophet is to keep not silence concerning wickedness. Go ahead. It says, and give and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. 
That's it. And who is that him that is talking about? The wicked, man. Okay? Give the wicked no rest until he establish and uh, make uh, Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. Okay? Which, uh, Yahweh Shimei HaShah ultimately is going to be the one that's going to make us a praise in the earth. But he's going to take down the wicked. Okay? Uh, let's see. Go ahead. The Psalms one for the five and three. Mm -hmm. That's what I was that, 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 looking for. Go ahead. It said, "For the wild of the wicked should not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity." That's it. That's it. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hand unto iniquity. All right. And ultimately, the righteous, the true uh, elect of the nation of Israel. Is not going to partake in iniquity, man. All right, they're going to depart from it. They're going to uh, resist the evil, okay? Because uh, give me that uh, arise ye and depart, Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. <clears throat> this is Micah two. In verse 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Mm -hmm. Yep. Arise ye and depart, for it shall destroy you, uh, mm -hmm. even with a, a, a sore destruction. Okay? Arise ye and depart from what? Babylon, confusion. Arise ye and depart from what? The ways of the wicked. In other words, repent, okay? Turn back from the ways of the wicked, okay? And when you go against the wicked, as the scriptures say, you make yourself a prey, all right? You make yourself a prey, and uh, ultimately because you are upsetting the devices and the plans. As the Lord say, that's what he's going to do in the book of Job, all right, uh, 5 and 12, right? He say he, he upset the devices of the wicked. The brother can grab that. It's Job 5 and 12. Mm -hmm. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Mm -hmm. yep. Go ahead. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the four is carried here alone. Right. So that that uh, ultimate plan for the wicked is to be like the most high and obtain control uh, of the souls of the righteous, right? And have uh, the Lord's people bow down to him, all right? And be under submission to him and keep his kingdom in play forever. But the Lord said for us not to get his man no rest, man. Okay? Matter of fact, uh, when the scriptures talk about every hand of the, uh, of the laborer, you know, we it say every hand of the wicked shall come upon them, which when you go into that word wicked, it, it's dealing with labor, right? Well, the true laborers, like I said, are the watchmen of, the, of, of Israel, man. Okay? And everybody that uh, uh, speaks out against this man essentially in his ways, all right? Because you got, you know, common people that really uh, not even uh, truly uh into the Bible, per se, not really even uh, uh, men of the Lord, okay, they can see that this world is doomed and destined for destruction, all right, you call them whistleblowers, you know, so forth and so on, and this man is being exposed on every level because the Lord said he was going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, not just his uh, prophets, upon all flesh so the every everybody that's uh uh speaking out against the society and against the elites and their agenda their new world order their their image the image of the beast uh they are laboring against the wicked right. you know you got that precept uh, uh uh every hand of the wicked should be upon them oh, i was just like the animal you wanted to this is all y'all still here. This is Job 20 and 22. Mm -hmm. In the fullness of his sufficiency, 
we shall be in the straits. Yep. Every hand of the wicked should come upon him. Right. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, which he's reached his pinnacle. All right. He's at the point now of coming down. Pinnacle means the highest point. He's reached the height of his rulership. All right. His sins have reached into heaven. The Lord said he set his bounds that he shall not be able to pass. All right. Now everything is working against him being on top. Like, you know, them rappers have that, that, that line. They say, there's only one way up. There's only one way to go from the top. You right. know, once you make it Damn. to the top, there's only one way you can go. Yep. So it's hard to maintain that top position. Every yep. kingdom that ever reached its height, it, once it got there, yeah, nowhere to go but you, down. You know, and the foundation that it was built upon is the main reason why it fell. Yep. You see, so <laughs> we're in the time now of the last uh, rulership of the heathen. Esau's rulership, as it says in Second Genesis, is what the end of the world. Yep. Yep. All right, which we're in the time of the beginning of a righteous kingdom being established on earth with the foundation being based upon truth and not lies. You got it. I, uh, yeah, I had a priest that don't agree with you about the, uh, the pinnacle of that height. Yep. You know, because, you know, with us, the Lord said, uh, well, we're going to get judged pretty much on the spot. Mm -hmm. But with for the heathens, it's like once they come to their height, doing the most I just went down upon them, you yep. know, all at one time. Yep. So this is 2nd Maccabees 6. And I'm going to start at 12. It said, now I beseech those that read this book, that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation. Mm. For it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffer any long time, but forthwith punished. So this speaking to um, Yahshua Israel, man. Mm -hmm. So don't be discouraged, you know. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, because we being chastised. Yep. You know, we're, we're catching hell because see everything's in a balance. We have no rest, but but if you really are in tune with the spirit of truth and understand how. Heavenly Father has set up prophecy with everything being two and two. Uh, <clears throat> we are coming into our pinnacle. Mm -hmm. See, we going up and he coming down. He at the top <laughs> and we coming up. And it takes work to make it to the top. Like he had to work, but he had to work through lies and deception. Mm -hmm. Right? But the Lord has gave us the uh, avenues of righteousness to build a kingdom on earth all right he, he he's given us the tools that we need ultimately to establish righteousness beginning with yahweh shah that's the foundation we building upon yahweh shah all right go ahead it's, more, it's second magbay season 14 for not it's with other nations whom the lord patiently forbear to punish till they become to the fullness of their sins so dealing he with us, lest that being come to the height of sin, afterwards he should take vengeance of us. Basically, he nipping our sins in the bud right now while he's allowing the sins of the wicked to build up. Yep. Because the wicked, they're being reserved unto a set judgment. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is judging us along the way. Uh, <laughs> along the way to the judgment of the wicked. Yep. You see, <laughs> yeah, that's really it. Say mercy, continue not. Okay, I just wanted to make uh make a point, yeah, too, because dealing with the wicked, you know, uh, they like bastards, you know, yeah. they don't have a father to guide them, you know, because in their mind, they are the father, they are the supreme power, you know, and let's say, uh, what did it talk about? Uh, I, a child with no uh, guidance, no no training, no counsel, you know. Become headstrong. Become headstrong. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> a horse is so like that. A horse not broken become a headstrong, and a child left to himself will be willful. That's it. And that's what we're dealing with. A yep. willful man. He, yep. he, he working according to his own will. You got it, bro. I know you still uh, hold that hold that heat. Yeah. You want to go ahead and you got something quick? Uh, nah. Well, yeah, ahead? it is. It is kind of quick, but you can finish. Yeah, though. finish. Just hold your hold yeah, your yeah, 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 yeah,
2 Maccabees 6 and 16, and therefore he never withdraw his motion from us, and though he punished with adversity, yet do he never forsake his people. But let, but let this that we have spoken be for a warning unto us, and now where we come to the declaring of the matter in a few words. Mm -hmm. So that's the point. Man, I got a quick piece up, go right with it. This Psalms 94, 12, and 13. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord Yahweh, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity. Until this, the this right now. <laughs> when, uh, first Corinthians, the letter chapter said, when we are judged, we are chastened with the Lord, so we won't be condemned with the word. Sure. You see? Go ahead. Get, get, get. We're going to let Yaknan get, get, get his point. Give me Joel, one of my other favorite scriptures. Give me Joel. Nine point. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Nine, you already know I want. It say, uh, finishing this, Psalms 94, 13, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. Yep. For the Lord Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Yep. yep. That's beautiful, too, because mm -hmm. we're in that time of the wicked being exposed on every angle. Mm -hmm. so it's like what you were just going into, basically, they got uh, people that don't even know the full truth, but they know who the wicked is. Yeah. yeah. Like yep. a, uh, uh, just the Illuminati, for example, you yep. know what I'm saying? Everybody know about them. Yep. Like uh, Alex Jones. Right. You know? You got you got certain guys out there that know or Dabu Seven. Right. You right. Know? Yep. They know, but they they uh they're not a part of the ministry. They're not a part of the assembly of the saints. You know what I'm saying? As the Lord has uh called us into this uh to uh uh be a, a light unto the nations and, 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 and pretty much uh shine light on the wicked. You know, expose the wicked, but his spirit of truth, see, truth exposes lies on every level. Hey, we going back to the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> going right back. <laughs> Let me just bring it out. This second Ezra 6, and I'm going to start at 27. It says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Mm -hmm. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Yeah, the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. So we're in the time now of uh, fruit being reaped. All right? You know, because the seeds have been sown for so long, but now the vessels of truth are about to be reaped out of the earth, man. It's flourishing now. Mm -hmm. Like scripture said, you, you, you're seeing the truth. Because now... You'll see, uh, uh, we'll, we'll be two or three steps ahead of uh, when Esau come up with false flags. And yeah. You got Jake. I'm talking about, like you say, guys like Alex Jones. Yeah. And people don't even really know the truth. Yeah. Exposed. Look at this. You but know? his patterns are, his patterns, his whole infrastructure of how he came into power is exposed. So yep. the things that he's been doing for so long under the radar and these, like you said, false yeah, flags. Yep. And uh, you know what he does on the media, yep. uh, even even with the the, the Super Bowls and the in the sports, like yeah. everybody know that it's set up now. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody. to the point now, like even people that bet on the game, they not even betting as a fan. Right. They betting according to the politics. They yep. betting according. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. You know, Jake ain't even looking at it like <coughs> who the better team. Because you know how you get down now, you know. But see, when it's all said and done, the ones that's really going to win is those that bet on your hard box and your hard shot. Yeah, right, bro. You know, because, see, that's a sure win. <laughs> you yeah. can put all your chips, you can put all your, you, you, like I said, you can I'm bet going, the bank. I'm going all in. Yeah, all all in. in. Bet, the, bet the bank on that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have more? No, no, that can, was it. Can, 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 you, can you get some 58? Uh, right, and you get that for me. So this Job nine, I'm gonna start to the one. So mm -hmm. though, though I will profit, yet will I not know my soul. Mm -hmm. I would despise my life. Mm -hmm. This is start at twenty. Start at twenty. Mm -hmm. Yep. It said, if I justify myself, my own mouth shall condemn me. Yep. If I say I am profit, it shall also prove me perverse. Yep. It's being wicked. Yep. 
It said, though I were perfect, yet will I not know my soul, I will despise my life. 22. This is one thing, therefore I said it. He destroyed the perfect and the wicked. He destroyed the perfect and the wicked, right? The perfect are those that have uh, the, the will of the Heavenly Father in mind. The interest of the will of the Heavenly Father in mind all the time. You got a perfect mind towards the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And right through faith, that's the only way you're going to be able to do it. Yeah. Okay? So laboring in these scriptures all right, is a necessity for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead. It said, if the scourge slay suddenly, he would laugh at the trial of the innocent. Yeah, he said, if the scourge slay suddenly, he would laugh at the trial of the innocent. All right, because at the end of the day, uh, the Heavenly Father has set up his elect on the earth. It's, it's, it's a test. It's a trial. And he already know. It's like when you being chastised as a child, your parents already know the type of shit that you're going to do growing up. And then they'll watch you do something like, <laughs> well, they say, I, I, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even it ain't even like nothing for them to get upset about almost even though they're gonna still whoop your ass because they know they gotta do it you yeah. know <laughs> yeah. you know but it's certain things like especially us growing up you know with kids we know they don't do yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna tell them not to do it yeah you're gonna do it anyway we know it's certain yeah. things they're gonna do you know like jake be trying to tell their kids uh you know don't be out here having sex you know what I'm saying? Don't be getting no girls pregnant. You know what I'm saying? But then when he come home, say, man, I got somebody pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> like, God, yeah. damn, boy. Didn't I tell you strap yeah, that shit yeah. up? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> talk to you about this. A perfect example is Boys in the Hood. How uh, Furious was with Trey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When uh he took him to the he took him to the lake and he was out there, he's like, So what you know about girls? You know what I'm saying? And he know he knew a little something, but then when he heard what he said, he's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he just broke it down to him. But then when he came home, when he came home, and he's asking, uh, he was talking about grandbaby. He said, what you been doing? Right. Why are you talking about grandbaby? Right. Why are right. you right. talking right. about yeah. grandbaby? <laughs> <laughs> Slapped his ass upside the head. You seen that one, right? Nah, I ain't <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, you know, inside joke, but it just kind of relate to the relationship that the Heavenly Father has with us, man. Right. You know, because the wicked, they gonna get the sword, you know, but right now, their judgment is being reserved. Yeah. That's right. Give me Psalms uh, 17 and 13. Uh, you know. Yeah, I got a piece of it. Go ahead. Job 13 and 15. It say, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Yeah. Though he slay me, I will trust in him. Yeah. And man, see, because that's that's another thing. See, some of our people, uh, as the scriptures say, is that Ezra's they will not always be mindful of the scourges. Yeah. Right. Meaning they're not yeah. gonna really be affected by getting their ass for the judgment that Yahweh Bashim Hawasha is bringing on two-thirds of our people. What do you say? Why should I be stricken anymore? The whole head is sick. Hey, you know what? Because <laughs> when when we get chastised, we we examine. Yeah. We look. Yeah. Jay get to looking like you know. Damn. What am I, I've been slacking. Yeah. I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? You, you take the chastise. You examine you yourself, examine but yourself. you take that chastisement. Mm -hmm. Jake and the world don't examine. They just become more willful. They come become more wicked. Mm -hmm. right. Become more wicked now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right, man. You know, Jay looking like, oh, fuck it, I, I bounced back from it. Yeah. Like, damn, like, is that what's so why, why did it happen to you? Right. Yeah. Why am I going through this? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Kind of like uh, another father's son, like, uh, after uh, Ghost went got Tyreek from being kidnapped. Yeah. Nigga, your whole life at risk. Yeah, he saved you. He saved your ass. And now, instead of you getting out of that situation, getting out of that life, yeah. you going even even harder yeah, into it. Harder. Teach me the motherfucking game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to tell you, you don't want you doing it. That's, that's Jake. The correction 
is to show you a better way. Like he says, not for your destruction. He, you know, like going back to that point in, in, in uh, power. Mm -hmm. Go shit, pull the strap on him like you're going to kill him. Yeah. Wake up, little nigga. Wake up, little nigga. <laughs> but hey, he wasn't going to hurt him. The gun empty. But it was it's just scam straight. It's scam straight. The Lord may straight. put your ass to a point where you, you feel like you're about to die. About to die. Uh, put you in a situation where like shit, mm -hmm. man. I, I could have been out of here. Mm -hmm. That's to that's to put that fire up under you, man. Sometimes Jake needs some fire up under him to, to get him on the right path. To get him on the right path to tighten up. Yep. Yeah. Most Jake, be yep. honest. Yep. When when a nigga want to get right, man. When he in a life of the, when he in a bind. When he in a bind. When he in a bind. Jake go to jail. Now he 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 all his head head uh, all the way in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but until the end, he, he just out here just. Whatever. Yeah. Yep. But on the other side of it, the left hand side of it, you got Jake when they do uh get in that position, like the wicked, they become more wicked. Instead of repenting and turning away, right. they go harder into the wickedness, you know, because Esau can't repeat can't it ain't no scaring him. Right. You know, you can't scare you can't you ain't no scaring him straight. Yeah. You know. That's how he was created. It's just how he was. Yeah. <laughs> this is how he is. <laughs> yeah. So the Lord gave two thirds of our people over to uh, his influence. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You want that Psalm 17? Mm -hmm. It's a Psalm 17 and 13. Because this is the mindset of the righteous. Which I believe this is a Psalm of King David here. Psalm 17. What does it say up at the top of verse 1? Is this Psalm of David? Uh, Psalm 17 and 1 says, Hear the right, O Lord, attend to my cry. It, I believe this is a Psalm of David. If I yeah, prayer of David. David. Uh -huh. Yep, yep, yep. Psalm 17 and 13, right? Because this is like, it was times when, uh, you know, King David was in straits. He was in a bind, you know? As we talking about Esau even being in straits, you know what I'm saying, when, uh, uh, in the fullness of sufficient, he shall be in straits. But what is he going to do? Is he going to turn back and, and repent and, and, and ask the Lord to forgive him for his ways and show mercy? Hell no. He, he ain't got the Lord on his mind, you know, because in his mind, he is the Lord. But see, King David, when he got in the bind, this was his spirit. Go ahead. Hey, can I jump? Yeah, you can jump yeah. however you want, brother. I, I was just going to make a point over here in Psalm 14 and 1, like you were just speaking on, it says, Psalm 14 and 1 says, The fool have said in his heart, there is no power. Mm -hmm. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do it good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, That's it. Yeah, they, they think that, you know, Ain't nothing gonna happen for for the wickedness they've done. They don't they don't look at at the Most High and and, and see is like they they draw fear, yep. you know, and they they they're gonna try to you know get right or correct themselves like like you were saying King David does. Yeah, these people just they they, ain't, they don't believe they ain't got it. Mm -hmm. They they <laughs> the boy just can't get right. Yep, yep. <laughs> he can't get right. He they never gonna he never way. gonna own up for his shit. He yep. never gonna own up to his shit. You know, you got it up. All right. Going back to Psalm 17 and verse 13, it says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And that spirit is what's working in the earth. All right. The Lord's elect, the house of David, are being delivered from the sword. Okay. And Esau's main two attributes <laughs> that he rules the earth with is what the uh the sword and deception okay which deception is a is a sword all right it's a sword man well, like if the deception don't work he always go back to plan a yeah the the, 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 the physical, physical sword, sword you know yep that's how we know he's gonna come down having great wealth yeah you know he have a short time all these trial mm -hmm. ones just mm -hmm. fell him he gonna come to a point no more trial ones man yep you know, and he being sloppy with his axe. Yep, yep. Cause the truth is a straight is a straight path. You see, the the the, the 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 truth is a straight and narrow. See, it's the lies that you, you, you think you, you're trying to cut, make a shortcut, cut another path, yeah. and you know. <laughs> now you gotta, now you, you gotta turn around. Now you go gotta back. turn around and go back, cause right. you go you gonna hit a fucking uh. uh a spot where you ain't gonna be able to get across. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you gotta try to make another turn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's 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 Esau Edom, man. 
the way his system is set up, uh, you know, everything is based upon a lie. Yep. Uh, everything okay. is based upon a lie, man. That's what you asked for too in that song. Psalms 58, 58 yeah. yeah. You can start at one. This is Psalms 58, <clears throat> and verse one says, Do ye indeed speak righteous righteousness? O congregation, mm -hmm. do you judge uprightly, ye sons of men? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, and in heart ye work wickedness. In heart ye work wickedness. See, it's in Esau's mind. Yep. You know, his constant thought is only to do evil. There's a scripture that say that. Right. <laughs> say he sleep not, lest, lest he, he done done. wickedness. That's it. That's his whole mindset. That's man. it. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. It says, Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. So in other words, you go throughout the entire earth seeing how violent you can be, how much wickedness, how much blood you can shed. You know? <laughs> like how how much blood can I hold in my hands? How much blood can I have on my hands? Which the Lord got us set up. To be cleansed by this word and get the blood off our hands word. see the, the work he's doing is in complete opposition as what the lord has set us up as watchmen to do you know i'm gonna read in the nlt mm -hmm. psalm 51 nlt it said justice do you rulers know the meaning of the word <laughs> do you judge the people fairly mm -hmm. no you plot injustice in, in your hearts you spread violence throughout the land then it said these wicked right, these wicked people are born sinners. Yeah. Even from birth, they have lied and gone their own way. Yeah. Made me think about, you know, uh me and the brother, uh Yashima, brother brother from Jackson, Mississippi. We did a lesson and he was just talking about uh, you know, the nigga Reagan, you know, who claimed uh nineteen eighty-three to be the year of the Bible, right? The nigga started a whole crack epidemic. Right. You know? so-called war against drugs yeah but you was fun you was the one pushing you was the one funny then put shit. jake in the forefront ricky ralph yeah niggas wicked man yeah mm -hmm. Boy. so the scriptures identify you exactly for who you are but the thing about it is the scriptures need laborers to go out <laughs> and proclaim it and declare it declare your wickedness you know because it's you, you, you see, you declared this, your book, the, the, the law of your land, right? Oh, man. So, <laughs> uh, every idle word that man shall speak, <laughs> all right, he shall give account of in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, man. That's, that's the beautiful thing about the heavenly father. He put them words back on you, man. man. Yeah, like, uh, that made me think of what who was that? Uh, uh, Bruce Lee, yeah, words do hunt. Words do hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't hey, gonna hurt, God, man. Brother. These words hurt. Hey, hey, matter of fact, he, that's good. That, yeah. that, that, that's beautiful. I got, a, I got a quick one. Okay, just for what you just said, bro. Come. This is uh, this is Psalms 50. I was in 16. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, that's a spirit. Psalms 50 and 16 says, But unto the wicked, the Most High says, What hast thou <laughs> to do to declare my statute? That's it. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Go ahead. Seeing that I hate this instruction. Yeah, you, you, you so called white people, all right, you elites, you banking families, all right, you so called rulers of the earth, you world. Uh, economic uh, uh leaders you know which economic mean household you know hey you hate the instructions of the lord right but then you want to declare it you mm -hmm. know as as, as, the, as the law of the land that this is a, right. especially america so-called and god we trust right. and, uh, the constitution was built upon the principles of the bible yeah right nigga. Because once you really get into it and you start turning them pages, you see it's built in complete opposition and adverse to the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem the Hoshah. Yeah. Uh, 
And when you really think about it, bro, what you were just saying, the most uh, bloodiest Edomites, man, are the ones who, who yeah. believe in this. Yeah. When they go wholeheartedly into this and they know, like, damn, this, this, this ain't looking good for us. Mm-hmm. Them the ones. Yep. Them, them church going Edomites, you better mm-hmm. watch out, man. The ones that, you know, claim they 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 love the Lord and they God and hope, you know, God yep. fearing and this and that. He 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 will gut you, man. Wolves in sheep's clothes. Yep. It, say, it says, uh verse 17 says, uh Psalms 50 and 17, seeing thou hatest instruction and cast my my words behind thee. I'm gonna jump down to 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, mm-hmm. and thy tongue frameth deceit. Yeah, thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue, like he, he, that's what he do. Yep. He's a blackmailer. He's a user. You know, the whole government system is corrupt. They be framing motherfuckers and sending them to jail for for life for shit that they be done. Yep. You know. <laughs> it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Right, meaning who? Jacob. Yep. Because ultimately, the elites, their counsel is uh, specifically set against us. Just as the Lord has set us up, and he says, Set thy face against Mount Seir, against them. Thy face goes into the judgment, set our judgment, right, against them. Okay? Which the judgment that we have is the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? <clears throat> Which us turning back to him allows uh, us to be uh, granted grace and mercy where he'll turn back to us. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Mm-hmm. Thou thoughtest that I was all together such as such and one as thyself. Right. And this the mindset that they've been in for so long. Right. Is that God got to be with them since they are not being judged. You know, they their uh, judgment is not being expedited. So the things that they're doing in the earth got to be right. Yeah. When they're going through these different countries and wiping out these nations and rape, robbing, and murdering. Yeah, the, the, uh, derailment and... Yeah. yeah. A lot of with totally wrong wickedness, man. Mm-hmm. Deforest uh, station, you know, destroying the earth, destroying everything he touched, man. Yeah. But not knowing that the Lord is long suffering, man. He mm-hmm. just putting on the task, you yeah. know. Hey, it, it tell you, uh, say it, those judgment isn't executed speedily. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it's in their heart to continue yeah. roughly to paraphrase wickedness. to do wickedness. The hearts of man are fully set to do evil. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, hey, that's why the crucial to it, like, she so watched the fifth chapter. Say that they had sin. Can I grab it? Yeah. See what you doing with that? It's a little bit Go more. Ahead. It says, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Yep. And yep. we're in that time now. We, yep. we, we, we're uh, seeing the reproof coming upon Esau, and that's what they don't like. They mm-hmm. don't want to be told they're wrong and what's coming to them, but it's happening. And the Lord's setting us up. Right in front of their eyes. Now you're seeing the men out there that really teaching the Bible that can go into it and break it down and telling you what's happening through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Right, brother. Yep. That order being established. Yep. 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 This is Sirach 5 and 4. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm had happened to me? For the Lord is long suffer, He will no wise let thee go. Yeah. Hmm. You know, it's another scripture. It might be in the same chapter where it says, He's the Lord is giving no man license to sin. Let's see what 15. You know, so <laughs> Esau think he got the green light. Yeah. You know, on, on going through the earth and uh, you know, constantly uh <laughs> destroying, rape, robbing, and murdering, man. You know, doing it in the name of Christianity. You know? But uh what, what y'all got? I, oh, yeah, I had oh, Isaiah 13. Okay. This is Isaiah 13 and 1. I'm going to read this in the NLT, folks. Then I'm going to um, jump to um, verse 2 in the King James. This is Isaiah 13 and 1. It said, Isaiah, the son of Amos, received this message concerning the destruction of Babylon. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake their hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Right, right. 
which is these elites because these words go to youtube all right <laughs> they 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 reach they they hear us you know and that's what's going on you know their banner being this word the righteousness of your heart boss and your heart was shot okay declaring the wickedness of esau even yep. he, he he's not able to sleep <laughs> you know because he got to find a way it's just like like i was saying about lies lies are harder to maintain <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep, you yeah, I guess even with something that's simple, like you look at his society, right? The nigga put GMOs and everything. Yep. Everything that's pure, he has to find a way to fuck it up. Yep. Let's just say you make some orange juice. What's the main ingredients in orange juice? Water and orange juice. <laughs> now, if you go to the store tonight and you go get a fucking thing of orange juice, that motherfucker gonna have 17 ingredients in it. <laughs> now, that alone tells you that that's wicked. And, and, and look how much work because if you just made pure orange juice all you have to put on there is water and oranges like you really shouldn't even have to put what's in it it's like organic <laughs> right. organic watermelon like nigga, it's supposed to be all in it organic. right what right. are you talking about that that took more energy right there with because you just leave it how it is how the lord designed it to be yeah. it, it is organic yeah. nobody has to question the authenticity of it exactly you know <laughs> now you got motherfuckers reading a long list of ingredients and shit they don't even know what it is yeah. and when you really think about it how much energy did they take you right you know how much more do it cost for you to put 15 ingredients for something that only takes two that's, two. that's it <laughs> yeah. but that's hey that's the simplicity of what we gonna come into with the lord compared to what Esau Edom is man this man you're doing too much you're doing too much <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why we what we open up with get a little no rest. Then he make his kingdom praise in the earth. Right. And, uh, and us doing that, we said, Lord, how long should this endure? Yep. And with that, we giving the wicked no way. We constantly what expose him for the spirit power of Yahweh Shemosh. Yeah. Let his ass know you're about to go down and go through um captivity. Right? Yep. That's right. Not just you, you other nations as well. You know, especially you Chinese um yeah, blockheads out there, man. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, can a brother give me um? Uh... As his ways are plain unto the holy, they also stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, Esau just can't understand what that, like you say, two ingredients. He, yeah. He's scratching his head about that. Wait yeah. a minute. He this don't he, sound he, right. He gotta, you can add some more shit to this. You gotta put fluoride in your water. Right. You know, you gotta just do, you gotta do something wrong to everything right. that's right. Everything. You gotta, it, it, it's yeah. gotta have one or two or three wrong things right. to it or it ain't right right it ain't right <laughs> it make us go off yeah. put yeah. pork and lemonade like damn how yeah. the hell does that happen yeah you no know, pork and every goddamn yeah. Yeah. thing man hey your vitamins got uh they wrapped in pork <laughs> capsule oh the chicken pork cases like pork damn, cases man. putting pork yeah. cases yeah. on damn i think why was that necessary right what was the chicken point of that sausages, uh, wrapping pork damn <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Then, then, so you look how much energy you gotta do to put that little ass fine print on the package. You be, you have, you be have to like, you have to go look at that shit, and then it'll be in fine print because <coughs> it's it gonna be in bold letters when you see it on the front. Yeah. Chicken, chicken sausage, chicken sausage, chicken yeah. sausage. Yeah. Then you gotta go to the back, look at the ingredients. Uh, wrapped pork in cases. pork cases. Yeah, they need a, magnif <laughs> need a magnifying glass to see that part. Eh? God damn. <laughs> Yeah, that's up, man. Hey, that's, that's why this devil gotta go, man. That's why we gotta get salvation. Oh, Just on a small level, everything yeah, is, is 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 messed up because of who the ruler is, that's man. It, that's man. why this man gotta go. That's, that's why it. he what the kids of our brethren, man. He yep. want us to constantly sin, cause you know that's our kryptonite, man. Right, like. But we just yeah. need your house shot. Yeah, you think he needs help? And he say his he say his uh he's privately set against the poor. Yeah. Man. And the man. poor go into the elect. Cause like uh Yahweh Shah said, blessed be the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You know, his eyes are privily set against us. All right. The like the brother said, the accuser of our brethren. You know, GMO um lamb, like artificial lamb, like salmon fucked up. Salmon. Oh man, it's so much shit. You man. know, uh, plant based ain't don't really mean plant based. 
Yeah, it's they plant in the lab. You know, because like, you will see like Jake, Jake starting to be health conscious. He don't like that shit. Right. He like preserve your life. What you doing, no yeah. nigga? Yeah. What you doing? Yolo, I nigga. need you to eat wrap snacks and right. hot Cheetos McDonald's. And, and McDonald's, nigga. Right. I made this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Me. Yeah. I put this here for you. Take yeah. advantage, man. Take advantage. Yeah, this, um, <laughs> Enjoy the wickedness, yeah. man. And that's why uh, the scriptures say, least Satan shall get an advantage of us. We are not ignorant of his devices. See, he oh, wants man. that advantage over us, man. The advantage he has over us is when we are not in aligned with the righteousness of Yahweh Bashi and Hawashah, meaning keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. And we we can only do it to the best of our ability. You know? You go to you go to a restaurant and go get some food. If they serve pork or shrimp or any abominable food that we can't eat, <coughs> how the fuck you ain't gonna be? How the fuck you gonna keep from going out? Somebody explain that to me. For all you so-called ones that say you can keep the laws a hundred percent, nigga just cook a shrimp fried rice on the grill and you ain't right. got a beef fried rice. Yep. Even if you ain't got no shrimp in your beef fried rice. You got shrimp in your beef fried rice. Yeah. Cause you know, because it's on the same grill. Yeah. They cook the shit on the same grill, man. Right. So we can only be uh you know saved through grace and faith, man. And mm. try to commit to the works of righteousness as much as we can yeah. be perfect. I remember but, my elder saying that once to like it, bro. No, no, okay, no, no. I remember my elder saying that. Be like, man, you'll drive yourself crazy, bro. Trying to, you know, uh, pinpoint everything and, you know, do this, do that. You, you can't do it. Be not righteous. Not saying be, being over righteous. Be not but righteous. You don't want to just, yeah. And be not over. <laughs> uh, yep. We get this. Oh, yeah. This is right 39, 24. It's the ways of playing unto the holy, so they stumbling block unto the wicked. Can you get that plane for me, bro? That word plain. Cause, cause some, if, some, if something is plain, it, that means it's, it's not complicated. All right. Simple. It's simple. Simple is easy. Yep. It's you know? <laughs> it said it say in uh, online etymology dictionary, it said flat, smooth, even, level, sense of explicit, clear, ev clear evident, yeah. evident. Free from uh, obstruction. Free from obstruction. Simple. Simple. Sincere. Sincere. Yep. You know, it's simple. It's the Lord's simple. ways are simple. The truth is simple. It's but see, we're in an environment where wickedness is the main frequency. It's the right. main vibration. It's the main influence. So <laughs> it looks like. The simple things look complicated. They don't. They're not entertaining. They, they you know, what I'm saying, it, it don't. The truth don't look fun mm -hmm. because so many motherfuckers doing weakness. Yep. You know. Yep. It's a avoid speech, etc. Direct and to the point. Direct and to the point, man. Mm. You know, and and that's why <laughs> motherfuckers don't understand when we be uh, talking about how this man is. Defiling everything, and we, like, I don't understand what the difference in that water and that water. That orange, just look, it's only supposed to be two ingredients it's orange juice, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> See, right. oranges and water, plain, plain. You know, water fucked up, you know, yeah. Plastic, you know, which water get the essential, the uh, you yeah. know, it don't matter what kind you like, yeah. Jake just plastic. say, fuck it, man, everything's fast, I'm just gonna go with the yeah. cheapest one. The cheapest one. You gotta, you gotta get the, uh, you know, you gotta get the best of the worst, and everything is bad. Nothing is pure. Yeah, let me continue on this. It says, for the good of good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners, the principal thing for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. Yep. All these things are for good to the godly, so to, so to the sinners they are turned to evil. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they so they mean what they do is they defile everything. Yep. Everything that was meant for good, they defile it. The basic essentials of life. You know? The air. <laughs> the air. Yeah, you chemtrail the air to, to death. You know? Hey, hey, 
a, a man and his woman. I was just thinking about this sex. Dealing sex, yeah. <clears throat> he got to he put, put a piece of rubber on. He got to put a piece of rubber on his rod. Man. Protect yourself. You know, life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. Can't even, man. man. In the worst case scenario, man. man. Yep. You know, we're in the worst case scenario with this man. But see, uh, get that. Is that uh, Matthew 24? I've got a. Except those days be shortened, yeah. there shall no flesh be saved. 24 Yep. You got a precept. Go ahead, out. Yeah, it's a little lengthy, though. Uh, Break it out. Because this whole chapter really good. Bring it out. Uh, it's, this is uh, Psalms 10. I'm going to just start at the top. It says, Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Mm -hmm. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Mm -hmm. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth in his heart, heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhors. Mm -hmm. The wicked. Yes, and that's what the wicked do. You know, the, 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 the wicked uh, boast. They boast, they yep. pride, you know, and and, and, and and then those that uh are in his spirit, that's who that's who he put blessings upon. Yep. You know. All the devices, the evil plans. Mm -hmm. They go hey, he think um he said he that dig the pit. He gonna fall into it himself. Yep. He, he gonna fall into it himself. It's NWO. Mm -hmm. It's gonna depopulate. He gonna become annihilation in yep. the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhor. Yeah. The wicked, you want to say something? No, you got it. <coughs> it says, the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all of his thoughts. Yeah, this man ain't thinking, <laughs> see, he ain't thinking about repenting. He's not, he's not a man who's concerned. He's, we, we keep bringing this guy up, you Yuval Harari, man. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's the direct thought process manifested. The, he's the direct thought process of Esau Edom manifested. We don't need a God. <laughs> you know, the Most High is not in his thoughts. Right. You know, uh, and uh, the brother Karab brought this out. Give me, uh, give me Psalms 9. 16, 17, real quick, I know. <clears throat> this is the book of Psalms 9, 16. It said, The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed, the wicked smear and the woke of his own hand. Go ahead. It said, The wicked should be turned to hell and all the nations that forget the Most High. Right. Mm. So, you, so you say what? The, the Most High is not in all your thoughts, yeah. huh? Oh, so, oh, you don't need me, huh? Oh, I don't exist, right? Yeah. Oh, right. ah, okay. <laughs> don't, don't, don't holler on me then when that, when that hell comes. Man, bro. <clears throat> no time for to turn this mf -er out, man. Yeah. You know? Because if the spirit of us bears witness with the spirit of the Most High, you know how angry that makes us right. when we hear them say shit like that? What was it like? Say it ain't no God. Say, oh, you know, and we know, like, it's not that it shakes our faith, it's just the audacity. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. you got it. Like the Lord say, no fear. Fear, fear ye not me? Right. Are you? Oh, okay. All the proud. Right? He said, gonna be ashes. You know? Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, Psalms 10 and verse 5 says, mm -hmm. His ways are always grievous. Mm -hmm. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. Right. See, the Lord's <clears throat> the Lord's ways are simple, right? But the ways of the wicked are grievous. They always grievous. Always grievous. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he don't have no judgment, man. That's how you know who's yep. in authority. Yep. When you go around the world and you look at how shit playing out everywhere you go, it's fucking moles running rapid. Every show you watch, it's moles running rapid. I just saw a fucking commercial. Uh, it's called it's some drug they pushing out called the Vito or the, the Vado, uh, for HIV. I'm looking at full grown fucking men with beards and perms. 
you know, I was just watching the news. They talking about this damn uh, club down there by the FedEx Forum called the Atomic Rose, where it got these goddamn drags. Yeah, that's what those night lights. Yeah, yeah, right there on the corner. Yeah, you know, got these fucking drag. Oh, uh, the whole drag club, man. Like they talk about passing some type of legislation to to, to ban them and all that stuff. Like they need to, but you know, it ain't gonna happen. You know. That's how we know he's in the height of his of, of his uh rulership. Yep. You have more? Yeah. It's a lot. It says, um read that last verse again. Okay, it says, uh, this is Psalms 10 and 5. It says, <clears throat> His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He has said in his heart. I shall not be moved. Yeah, <laughs> this is his. This is his mindset. He shall not be moved. You know, like he, like he's actually going to stay on the throne in his seat of power forever. You know, <laughs> but that's how the heavenly Father got him in the trick bag. Yep. You gonna say something? Nah, nah. I was gonna keep going. It says, "For I shall never be in adversity." <laughs> yeah. Okay. It says his mouth is full of cursings and deceit mm -hmm. and fraud. That's it. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. That's it. And that's 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 always. See, he has no rest. All right, unless he's uh got mischief, and vanity, and iniquity on his tongue. That's all he. That's all he do, man. You know, it's constant evil. It says, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places do he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. His eyes are set privily against the poor. You go into that poor right there, that's symbolic for the uh, the nation of Israel. Partic particularly, all right, the Lord say, blessed be the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, all right? That's the Lord's chosen people, okay? But, see, two-thirds of our people are in agreement with this man, you know, because they do the same thing to their own people, you know? Like Jake say, he in the trap. <laughs> he out here serving. Well, who you serving? You ain't serving your heart by Shimei Hawashi, all right? Not with sorcery, pushing, pushing, pushing drugs on your people. Which Esau Edom put in your hands and set that system up for you. Nigga, that's why you call it a trap. Right. These dumbass niggas glorifying the system that Esau Edom set up. Right. Nigga, I'm in the trap. Right. I'm in the trap. Nigga, what? Hey, I, <laughs> there ain't no way in the hell Esau gonna let you niggas come up and then you gonna make it like that you know what i'm saying doing that wickedness and then get to a level and then just get out and just live and, like and have success and have success you ain't never saw that just like <laughs> right now they got the uh show with uh uh big meach right where that nigga at where, where how he end up yeah that nigga in jail yeah. man yeah they they glorifying all the shit he did but the nigga locked up at the end of the day young thug a nigga like that you know what i'm saying you rap about look, this look, stuff look where he ended up look where he at Everybody snitched on him now. He, he by himself. Mm -hmm. You stuck. And it's mm -hmm. judgment, man. Mm -hmm. It never plays out in your benefit. Nope. So you fall, like you say, you fall for the trap. When the when the doors slam down, you always at the, you know what I'm saying, looking left looking stupid. Yeah. And they always put it on TV in a glorified manner. Right. You know? It's always glorified in the in the in the in the music lyrics. You know, you got niggas that ain't never been in that lifestyle. Right. You know, but they pushing that right. message so it benefits the elites, okay, for your destruction. Because, it, again, his eyes are privily set against the, I mean, he's exclusively focused on you niggas. Yep. You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics. He's exclusively focused on you, man. Quick piece up. Go ahead. So like 9 11, even not the glow of a sinner, for that mm. knoweth not what should be his end. That's it. That's it, man. And then say, verse 12, delight not 
delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember that they they should not go and punish unto their grave. That's it, man. And ultimately, Esau Edom, his day is coming. That's right, bro. You know, that's why I say, uh, the Lord, he, he's showing them favor in this time. He said, let favor be shown unto the wicked. He will not learn right. Yeah, he will not learn righteousness. Okay? So it, it, it takes a whole lot for you to continue doing wickedness and you know what's right. Yeah. So it ain't that he don't know what's right. Right. It, it, he got it right here. It's, yeah. it, it's right here. You know? It's just he chooses uh, deliberately. Yeah. <laughs> he deliberately chooses <laughs> The path of destruction. Yeah, he, he, he just, you know, a habitual line stepper when it comes to wickedness, man. He got a 24 hour hotline for wickedness. That's it. You know? <laughs> That's one more verse, bro. This Go is ahead, uh, bro. Psalms 10 and verse 9 says, He lies and waits secretly as a lion in his den. Mm -hmm. He lies and waits to catch the poor. He do catch the poor when he draw, when he draw him into his net draw them into his net now we in the time now it's, it's a net is it's basically a trap yep. but see the internet is a trap you know because right now uh that's where most of the media influence is pushed is mainly through the internet mm -hmm. social media see when we was coming up you you didn't have a lot of internet things like YouTube and stuff like that, like smart TVs. You know, you probably had regular TV about five six stations. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, Jake remember Jake used to read the magazines and shit. You yeah, had the double yeah. Excels yeah. and the Word Ups and the shit mm -hmm. like that. But now you get the hotlines, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, everything. Everything is, 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 is internet based. It's internet based. And it's so accessible, it's like a big well that you're being drawn into, man. And if you don't have the inspiration of your Habashi and Hava Shai, uh, you know, covering your mind, you know, because you got to have a shield. <laughs> yeah, to unplug. Yeah, yeah, to unplug, man. Yeah. You get caught up, man, in that glorified life of wickedness. Because right. all this shit is glorified. Everything wicked is glorified, man. This shit be enticing to you. They showing you how much money being made from this scheme and that scheme mm -hmm. and this lifestyle and that lifestyle. And all these lifestyles are contrary to the righteousness of the Yahweh Sin outside. Yep. You know? Hey, that's what happened with that head brother who used to be the head of the Atlanta camp, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he fell yeah, into were done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, he fell yeah. into the... the the lifestyle in yep. Atlanta, you if you ever been there, she. you know, man, she is a man, yeah. plenty of women, a lot of shit to do. You can fall, you can fall deep. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing, you gotta have that, like you say, that mindset toward the Lord to where you, you know, he shield you, you shield you from that. But if you constantly, you know, shunning it off and not, you know. Putting mm -hmm. on the full armor every every day to you know keep your mind focused on hey I, I gotta stay on this path yep. like you were saying earlier they trying to take a shortcut mm -hmm. I'm gonna just go this way for a minute then I'm gonna dip back and then get back on the straight gate yep. nah you'll find yourself lost yeah I'm gonna take a vacation two weeks vacation right <laughs> you know we'll put the plow down for just a minute then I'm gonna look back and go this shit it's over with hey that's why the Lord got uh, the balance of it. You know, the Lord has uh, all things two and two. So the net has the righteous side too. And see, that's what the elites are trying their best to weed out. The truth going, is like all these videos coming out, you know. And even though that nigga, what's his name? Uh, Hebrews to Negroes. I can't um, think of his name. His name. Uh, he's hard. Yeah, Ronald Dalton, Dalton right? He, 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 even though he off, you know, not to mention him, the Hebrews to Negroes uh, documentary, I mean, the main reason they didn't want that out, you know, coming out, especially on the on the platform of the NBA, you know, is because that exposes them. 
when they kill their live African. We African. Yeah. yeah that's you know, fucking that's, them up. That's yeah. pulling you out of the net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's pulling Jake's out of that that's, trap. That's, that's oh, right, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? That's right, bro. So that's labor you gotta do. That's look 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 look, look at the labor he had to do. That's right. To, to yep. try to cover that shit up. Man. You know. He made it worse. Man, <laughs> he, made he made it worse. worse. Yep. He can't you know? do it. He can't get right, man. Like all these videos that go out, you know, where, where we speaking the truth, you know, what happened? He got to go and monitor him and yeah. see what we said exactly that he can pinpoint to de- snatch, the video snatch down. out, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just, hey, man, he, he he's out of there, <laughs> you know, hey, his ass, uh, he's, his, he's, he's been, uh, he he's being worked as well, mm-hmm. you know. So it's two and two. Like we can't rest because the wicked is constantly working, and they can't rest because we constantly working. <laughs> That's right. You know, but one of those forces is going to overtake the other, and we know which one it is, right? You got that uh, Matthew twenty four. Yeah, Matthew twenty four. Uh, if you had something else, you could bring it out. It's Matthew twenty four and twenty two. It said, and except those days should be short. Start up about the tribulation. Okay. Matthew 24 and 21. The then should be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, no ever should be. You know? Mm-hmm. It said, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Mm-hmm. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. Right. So we in the time where he's about to bring down to say, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, but he know he has but a short time. We in that time. We in the time where heavy tribulation mm-hmm. is about to come. Okay? Because it is at the point now he see that hell, he can't control that net. Yeah. He said the end has never been invented. That's what the MOTD is mainly about. Control. Yeah. Monitoring what you're able to uh content you're able to view. Mm-hmm. You know. What messages you able to, uh, you know, because he he he's seeing now that <laughs> there's another level of brainwashing going on that he ain't, uh, you know, he ain't in agreement with. Yeah. He's like, nah, uh, uh-uh. they can't be getting white. They can't be getting washed white. Mm-hmm. Nah, we can't be letting them get that pure information. Now they mm-hmm. they fucking up the plans. Yeah, because they know, know what 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 happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens when, when you know when we wake up. When we wake up, you know what happens. Mm-hmm. And even low level even might uh uh in their spirit, they know that. Mm-hmm. They see they don't like they don't want to see Jake coming together. Mm-hmm. You know? So yep. they know hey, we get together, that that mean hey pretty much y'all you, you know what's coming. Yeah, and a lot of them when we be a camp, a lot of them, a lot of them low lower level either mites. When they walk by camp, it'd be a certain look on their face. And it, it don't even be like a combative look. It'd be like a nervous look. It'd be like a, a, when they see it, like the scripture say, when they see it, they shall be afraid. Right, right. A strange look. Like they, it's, 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 it's a, like, cause they be reading the signs, especially the ones say, uh, White man's, man's destiny, destiny yeah. uh, according to the Bible. Yep. Some of them be looking at it and it don't be a proud look all the time. It'd be more like a, a, a look of conviction, yeah. like they can feel like, oh shit, yeah, damn, oh shit, you know. <laughs> and we and they come by, we certain scriptures be coming out, we be going mm-hmm. into especially Revelation 13 9 and 10. Mm-hmm. That's heavy, and we get out there and we know every brother know that by heart. Yeah, and we mess around and I'll be quoting it at the same time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they be looking like. <laughs> That's that spirit is convicting, man. Yeah. The, the truth is convicting, man. Yep. You know, man, the words hurt. Hey, this Hebrews 4 and 12. That's it. It said, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even into the divine son of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the tents of the heart. Yep, mm. the son of the thoughts and the tents of the heart. So it's piercing their minds, you know. But the scriptures say uh in Saint Corinthians uh 
10 and 4 and, 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 and 5, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the spirit of how about singing how a shout or bringing down the strongholds, casting down the imaginations and everything yeah. that exalted every high thing that exalted itself, all right, against the most high. Which I'm roughly quoting, but hey, that's the gist of it, man. Right. See, these are captivating words. They get in your head and fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna come out. Yeah. It ain't come out. That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying them words. Get in your mind, and they don't come out. <laughs> like, uh, what? You know, I have to make a common point, but you got it out. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I get this last piece. I came to my mind. And brother, give me. Uh, let me get uh, Daniel twelve. Yeah. Okay. This second answer is ten and twelve four. It says, "And therefore, shake up that great heaviness and put away the multitude of thy sorrows." And that the mighty might be merciful unto thee again, and the highest should give thee rest and ease from thy labor. Mm. Yep. The mm -hmm. Lord said, mm -hmm. that, um, unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love, which you had showed towards his name. Mm -hmm. You see? But the Lord said, well, he's going to give us rest. Because yeah. in this captivity, Limitation 5 to 5 said, well, our next are on the persecution, yeah. and the labor ain't have no rest. This is not our rest. This war is not our permanent home. But guess what? We seek one to come. And that's mm -hmm. the Lord of what give us everlasting rest, man. You know, in the kingdom of heaven. That's it. If you got it. Yep. You matter of fact, you, uh, read Daniel 12 and 1, and then okay. jump to Daniel 12 and uh what's that 10? Okay, come on. This is Daniel 12 and verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Right. This is talking about the archangel Michael and future prophecy, all right, uh, about uh, where it talks about the war in heaven, all right, which that's coming, all right. Jacob's trouble, great tribulation, uh, that's going to happen, and then they're going to be all out war. And ultimately, that war is geared towards the nation of Israel, but the Lord has an army set up to defend us, all right. That army being led uh, by the archangel Michael, okay? The Howard Shah first and foremost, and the archangel Michael. Like, we're going to be defended, Lord willing, we are the, the elect, man. Go ahead. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Right, so it's going to be the worst uh, uh, time of tribulation on earth, like no other time. Okay, in, in, in any other time, not even uh, when we were in a uh, chattel slavery, man. Like times gonna be worse than that, man. Mm -hmm. Shit finna be real bad out here, man. That's why we gonna need an intercessor. We gonna need salvation. We gonna need uh, a spiritual intervention. You gotta go. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. And at that time, thy people, the elect of the nation of Israel, they're gonna be delivered. Okay, so uh, that uh, time is going to be uh, uh, also the time or the hour of temptation where the, where the mark of the beast is made mandatory. All right, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you declare yourself uh, a product of Esau Edom and his uh, a product of the beast system, man. you know, by taking that karagma. Got it, it says, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Yep. Yep. Uh, jumping down to verse 10, it says. And that's why, uh, it, where it says that Revelation 14, I saw the soul. Not the Revelation 20, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. All right. And uh, didn't take the mark. You know, they had, they had the testimony of Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai. He saw the soul. And that's dealing with that, man. They, their names were written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So everybody's name that's written in the Lamb's Book of Life are gonna, is going to overcome this wicked man in his society. All right? And the hell that he's going he's about to bring upon the earth. You got it out. Jumping down to 10, this is Daniel 12 and 10. It says, many shall be purified. <coughs> so like it says, many shall be purified and made white and tried. Yep. And see... That's a lot of labor that goes into being purified and made white. All right? 
And that labor, that great labor is being done now through the spirit of your hard bosh and your shot. Go ahead. It says, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. Yep. But the wise shall understand. Yep. See, the wicked are never going to understand, all right, uh, the, the reward, <laughs> all right? The wicked are never going to understand the reward that comes with this word, you know, with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it's much easier when the Lord gives you the spirit to understand, to live this life, than it is when you don't have the understanding, you know? So it's much harder for those who are uh, not of the Lord's elect, okay? So for Jake out there that's catching hell, just know the hell is not near as bad as the hell that's going to come upon the wicked. You know, you can say, like you read the scripture, talk about uh, even not a sinful man. Because like Jake might be faring well in certain situations right now. You see niggas doing wicked and living uh, wicked lifestyles, and they got money, they got luxuries of prospering. prospering. But the hell that they're going to catch is going to be far greater than anything that the Lord's chosen men are being chastised with now. You know? Because <laughs> we say, uh, matter of fact, let's end on that. They shall not see the wide. Oh, yeah. <coughs> This is the second edge of 7 and 18. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for wide. Mm -hmm. But they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. That's it. That's it. The wide is talking about the kingdom of heaven. You know? So, hey, the scriptures say through, through great tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So how much more the ungodly and the wicked that's not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. How much tribulation they going to see? They're going to have tribulation in the kingdom of heaven. You know, these heathens especially. So, y'all brothers, y'all good? Yeah. With that, Lord will you are edified again. We're giving all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kodash. Right, double honors again to the apostles and others, the great millstone, peace, say, taste to the whole elect from Yasharala. Above, above, rise Israel, destroy confusion, shalom, of a heart. Peace to the lead. Mm -hmm.